Hi everyone. Okay, let's solve this. We have x dot x dot x plus x dot x equals 36. This is looking complex and difficult, but then it's simple. x dot x dot x. This dot here is multiplication. So x times x times x will give x to the power of 3. Plus x times x will give x to the power of 2. And this is equal to 36. Now, the next thing is, can we break this 36? If you look at it, we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2. Okay, but before breaking it, you must have thought about it. This 36, I want to break it down into 27 and um, 9. This is because I already have this in mind. 37, 36 could have been, you know, another thing. It could have been 30 and 6, but it, it will not give us something in this form. So we have to use these two numbers. Now we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 now equal to 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 2. Now look at the left hand side and the right hand side. Can you see any resemblance in form? Yes, this and this can go together and this and this can go together. So I'm going to pick x to the power of 3. This becomes minus 3 to the power of 3. Then I will have plus x squared. This becomes minus 3 squared. Then we equate to 0. Now, what if we decide to deal with this separately and this separately? Difference of 2 cubes, difference of 2 squares. Right? Do you know the standard for difference of two cubes? Just like we have a squared minus b squared to be equal to a plus b into a minus b. What would you get if it was to be difference of two square? I mean difference of two cubes like a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. What will this give us? It will give us a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. Difference of two squares, difference of two cubes. Right? Okay, subscribe to my channel for more of this. Now, our x is a, right? And this 3 here is going to be the b, so x minus b becomes, a minus b becomes x minus 3 into a squared is x squared, like we know. Then plus a b is going to be x times 3, and that is 3x. Then plus b squared, that will be 3 squared, and it is 9 plus here now we use the difference of two squares here so we'll have x plus 3 into x minus 3 now there's nothing on the right so we have 0 now this and this are the same so we call it common factor x minus 3 is common to both of them then here now we have x squared plus 3x plus 9. Close this. Plus here we're going to have x plus 3. Because x minus 3 is already outside. Now we have x minus 3 from here. Then from here now we're going to have x squared plus 3x plus 1, okay, that will give us 
3x plus 1x will give us 4x. Then plus 3 plus 9 or 9 plus 3, that is 12. We close and equate to 0. Now, here is what I want to do. Since we are multiplying these two to get 0, we can say that x minus 3 is either 0 or this right here is 0. So I'm going to deal with this before coming to pick this. So our x is going to be 0 plus 3. And then x is equal to 3, as simple as that is. Right? Now let's pick this again and equate it to 0. We have x squared plus 4x plus 12 equals 0. Okay, so this is the equation. Now we are going to use the formula for this. Our x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4a times c. And then we divide this by 2 times a. Now our x will be in place of minus b now. I'm going to write minus 4 because b is 4 from here. Plus or minus b squared is going to be 2, okay, it's going to be 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12. This is because x squared here, the coefficient of x squared is 1, and that is our a. b is the coefficient of x, that is 4, and the constant is 12. So we divide this by 2 times 1. Now from here we have x to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus 16 minus 48. Then we divide by 2. x now will be minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 32. 16 minus 48. Okay, that is correct. So we proceed as we divide this by 2. Now we can work on this. x from here will be minus 4 plus or minus. We have square root of 32 multiplied by square root of negative 1. So that the negative will live here. Now we proceed as x will now be minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 times 2 times i. Square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So we write i for that. And we divide by 2. 16 times 2 is 32. Now our x is going to be minus 4 plus or minus. We have square root of, um, okay, I think I can just break it, no need for this step. So we have our x to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 16 in there is going to give us 4, then root 2 times i as we divide by 2. I want to rearrange, x will now be minus 4 plus or minus 4 times i, that will be 4i root 2. This is better so that this i will not appear to be under the root here. And we divide this by 2. Right? x will now be 2 can go there. We have minus 2 plus or minus. The same 2 will go there. We will now have 2i root 2. This is a 2-in-1 solution, in case you do not know. So let's bring the three solutions together. The first one, x1 equals 2. The second, x2 is equal to, from here, we have minus 2 plus 2i root 2. Then let's get our x3, and it's going to be minus 2, minus 2i root 2. These right here are the three solutions to the equation.